Hello. So this is the third video in the series for Microsoft Project 2010. We've been working with this uh, house renovation kind of a project and um, we added uh, in the first two videos we did task. We also looked at resources and we also learned how to add resources to our task and also how to add cost and things like that. We're just going to continue adding a few more elements in this video and most probably I'll have two more videos on uh, after this. Uh, the last thing we did is where we had added this fixed columns and things like that. So if you didn't want this views in your chart, you could click it, right click on it and you could hide it. Or you can click up here and then you can just click on this A Gantt and it brings you back to this one the way it was there before. So in many of these cases, we've applied some of the resources. So just to look at our resource sheet, I can click here and I can go to the resource sheet. And I can see all the resources where I had added all the prices. I can also click here and I can go to network diagram. So it kind of shows me uh, my network and I can use the zoom to reduce it. So I can see how things are lined up. So I'm just going to come back to the previous view, which is the Gantt view, A Gantt. And I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, people to all of these uh, jobs where I haven't added because I want to make sure that all the jobs have resources. So I can just even click here and I can say scroll to task so that I see my task here. I can double click on it and I say this resource name, I can say me. Click OK. And as I do that, the names are getting added there. Measuring the floor, I'll say I'll do this job too. Order tiles, I'll do that job. Order closets, I'll do that job. Uh, check the plan, I'll say I'll do that job too. And I'm just going to go ahead and add myself to this assembly. and also to this assembly. And um, so I think I've pretty much added to all except for the cleanup and to bring back stuff back I'll add myself and also maybe add the laborer. All right, now you start seeing there are some red lines there showing up. So that's just kind of when you point to it, it will tell you that, you know what, some somebody in your task is getting over allocated. So in my case, in this case, I'm assigning myself to a lot of jobs. So you can kind of try to fix it in a couple of different ways. One way is I can add my dad somewhere in the system and then add him as resources or I can remove myself from some of the job or I can even add um, over time to certain jobs not in this case but if there were some jobs where I wanted I could add some over time to it so uh, to make my job task get done faster if I wanted so to add the overtime so say for example I wanted to add overtime to this um, installing tiles which is going to take three days so if I want to add overtimes, I can click on this detail button here, which will bring the split screen. I can click it again. So you see in the split screen, you can see more details about each and every job rather than double clicking on it. I can remove that. Or you go to the corner here, and when you see that symbol, right in corner, double click, and you should get this. Now if I right click on this part, and I add the section called work, now in here I can add overtime if I want it. So that will affect that particular job and it will get done faster because now I'm allowing some overtime. So maybe I'll add for the tile installer, I'll add four hours. So this was supposed to be done in three days and I'll remove the split by pointing here. Now it will be done in 2.5 days. So I had added the split by using the detail button. And then you have to right click here and you can choose work. Once you get this window, you can add overtime. So 
I'm going to remove the details again and up here if I wanted I could double click on it and I can remove myself and I'll say you know what up here the laborer guy will work here so now the error is gone because I'm not over allocated but that's just a warning and you can also use this inspect button and the inspect button will give you some warnings letting you know where the problems are now the next thing I'm gonna do is under project uh, I'm gonna go to project information and I'm going to change the date uh, for the project from this April 1st I'm going to change it to March 1st just to see how it will look uh, as if the project has already started but before I do that I want to remind one more time about changing work time I had showed you in the first video I believe that you can click here and you can change the work weeks and you can go to details and you can change the timings here there was one more place where you can go from this you can go to options and you get this window and in the schedule you can change the work week instead of starting on Sunday you can change it also the default times and also the number of hours per day so this will automatically adjust your work week the other way to get to the same place is from file options and then schedule so you can get to that window okay. so I'm gonna go to project information and I'm gonna change the start date to March 1st and I'll click OK now um, I want to put some of my task as finished to so say I've already moved the things to garage so if I've moved it 50 percent I can hit 50 percent here if I have done the measuring the floor 100%, I can hit 100%. And there's a check mark that comes up next to it. If I've finished uh, both these jobs, I can even highlight them together and I can hit 100%. You can also double click on it. And in the general, you can add whatever percentage you want there. The other option is. I can use this mark on track click on update tasks and here I can again choose a percentage and if I had some changes I can put a different date when this job may get done if I wanted to I can instead of it was supposed to be done on the first itself and I can say well maybe this will get done on the fourth so I can make those changes by using that option there too. So as I'm doing it, the check marks are coming up and wherever I come, I can put percentage symbols or remove old tiles. I can say it's done 25%. Now if you want to see your tracking on the Gantt chart, you can click here and you can choose the tracking Gantt. If you find that any of these are not there, you can go to more views and then you can find the tracking Gantt and then you can hit apply so it will show up there's a good chance the tracking Gantt should be there and now you see it shows me the percentages and you can always if you wanted to you could go back to the A Gantt a, just a regular Gantt chart if you wanted to just look at that one of the other ways to fix a problem with allo over allocation is also to split a task so if I want it I could click on a task and I can use the split options to uh, split it so say this uh, installing new tiles I can split it and now I can drag it you don't even really need to drag the task all you have to do is you you can even click on the task there click on the split and then you just click on the middle or wherever you want to split it and now the task is split up into two different parts so that would be another way to take care of over allocation when you've got too much jobs going on there are too many people over allocated I can hit undo to get out of there Now let's look at some uh, printing options in terms of uh, reports, which is under project. 
and in here you see the option called reports. So I can click reports and there are different types of reports and which in each and every one you'll find different options. If I go to overview, select it and I want the project summary, click it and I can click select and here's my print preview. I can go to page setup and I can customize it even more because in my case I don't have too many tasks so it's only a one page thing but I could reduce the size, increase the size, I can change the margins and things like that. I can come back to task project, I can go back to reports, cost, select, um, I can choose the cash flow, hit select and there's my cash flow can go back to page setup and there are options here do things headers footer and you can even add something to the footer if I wanted to add a project category say I wanted to put the cost to the footer I can click add and it is added to the footer and there's the total on the bottom. So you can control that. I can come back to task to get out of there. You can also print the Gantt chart. So I've just gone to the Gantt chart and I'm in the say the tracking Gantt and um, I can go to file and then I can go to print and in here you see it's got the whole plan, the Gantt chart, it also has the legend on the bottom because it's got all the lines saying which one is critical and what is what and uh, you can customize this by going to page setup and then clicking on header and then you can have whatever you want in the header you can choose the values appear from the bottom and you can add them to and you can choose to have something on the left right or center the same thing you can do in the footer had something on the left to right and I showed you earlier you can add cost so if I want it on the left side I can add the cost value add it there's also the option called legend so the legend is available on every page so if you had like lots of pages lots of tasks so you end up having a lot you could then choose to have it on only the legend page which will be the last page so that you will fit in more tasks or you can choose to have none so I can click OK and the cost is added there on the bottom. Okay. So you can print reports and you can also print these views that you have. So and these views could be if I go to task, I can choose the resource usage. So I can print this, anything that you wanted, resource sheet. And you'll find there are multiple ways to get to the same information. I can go to view and then the resource sheet option is there or resource usage so there is more than one way to get to things under project uh, we looked at reports but you can also do a custom report and in the custom you can choose any one of these and then you can edit it you can even copy it so then you are kind of making a copy of this and then give it a name whatever you want to call it change the criteria. There are some details option where you can add different things or remove things. You can even sort things by various options. So I can click OK. Now there is a test report. I can edit it and I can look at it. So I can click it and I can select it. And in the same way, in the project, I can go to Visual Reports, and they have options for Microsoft Excel and also Visual. Visual. And uh, so you can choose what kind of a report you want to create, and you can just go ahead and view it, and it will open in, in Excel. You can also create new templates based on this, and so you can modify it so it doesn't change the existing reports. And they've also categorized it by different category, task usage, resource usages and they list them all together here.
so that's a good option if you wanted to use to print reports or you can do visual reports you can also send the files to somebody so if I click on file I can choose save and send and then I can send it as an attachment and under this option I can also create a PDF if I wanted to I can do that so I'll stop uh, for this video at this point so in this video we talked about just gonna come back to the Gantt chart that you can add your percentages to the charts if you wanted to and you can do it a couple of ways you can use these percentages you can use the update task option or you can double click on a task and you can add uh, whatever percentage you want 30 20 28 whatever you wanted it to be you can also click on details and then I can right click here and I can choose to work and I can add overtime hours that's one of the way to fix or allocation or any problems when your work was not getting done on time so you can do that and the other way to fix over allocation problem is to add more resources so you can even go to your resource sheet and you can add extra people to the resource or you can increase the say the laborer to 200 percent and that will help to elevate the problem and we can also print reports of your projects and the visual reports and you can also print the views in the Gantt chart or you can print the tracking Gantt you can go to file and then print page setup and you can have more information added to this so I'll be doing most probably maybe two more videos adding some extra elements to the project thank you for watching